Okay, welcome to another one of my videos. This one is Audio Snap and changing the project tempo with it. This is sort of a continuation. This is a project I've been working on uh, and I actually use as an example on my extracting a tempo map from uh, a project using Audio Snap. So this is a continuation from that. So if I just bring up the tempo view, which I've got down in the multi dock, you can see the tempos down at the side that were extracted that's shown as an 82 uh, at the front there because that's basically half a bar I never bothered filling out the whole bar with with beats so Sona's misread that uh, but anyway that's where I am at the moment and as you can see the project sort of jumps around between 153 154 ish all the way up to 157 beats per minute obviously got a drummer uh, with a timing problem, but never mind. That's the way the project, I'm going to leave the project. But if I wanted to change that, uh, all I need to do is in this tempo view is, uh, they were unhighlighted, I'd shift, uh, sorry, click on the second tempo and then shift click on the last tempo. That highlights all of them. Press the delete key, deletes all of them. Now, if I change this original tempo to 155 beats per minute, click on OK. That's the tempo for the whole song set. So just going to hide the multi dock now by pressing D. And I'm going to bring up on this clip here. In fact, as you can see, I've got all the sorry, I've got all the clips highlighted. I just press Control A to highlight them all. Going to hold the middle mouse button. Uh, so I hold the Control key, click on the middle mouse button and change that to audio transients. And as you can see, there's all the audio transients. As I say, this continuation from the earlier video. So uh, now I've got them there, I'm going to bring up the Audio Snap palette, pressing A. And I'm just going to go down to Clip Follows Project. I'm just going to click the drop down there, make sure that's on auto stretch, because I want it to stretch the uh, clips to fit. And click on Clip Follows Project. And as you can see, the little indicators here have come up to show that that's been stretched uh, my downloads finished but anyway that they've come up to show it's been stretched and now if I press play you'll hear that the song is now following the project and stop that go back to the start I want to take that to an extreme let's change the tempo to say 120 beats a minute and now press play again as you can hear that's uh, it's not not a bad uh, online render really considering that's on a, on a say online render set in there and I'm sure if I bounce that down that would sound a lot better than what it actually does but, uh, that's how you change a song's tempo to fit using Audio Snap. You basically just have to get the audio transients up uh, and then set the tempo and clip follows project. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please fire away on the forum. I'm sure that there's plenty of people who know a lot more about Audio Snap than me that can help, and obviously, if I can help, I will as well. Thanks for watching.